Doom Tubers. Doom Waves back here tonight. We're gonna do a bit of a recap of my year in gaming, um, as in games that I beat this year. Now, this is not games my top whatever of 2012 because I don't have one of those. Because quite frankly, I didn't buy that many games this year that came out this year. Um, if I had to pick one, I would probably say Halo 4, um, I suppose, Halo 4, because um, this is the first game that I ever went to the midnight release of and picked up, and I was most excited for it, and I was blown away. It's a really great game. Yeah, so if I had to pick a 2012 release, it's uh, that one. But uh, that's not what this video is about. Uh, this video is about um, games that I've played this year and beat. Uh, and most of these are, well, it's about half and half. I've got uh, some several different systems here. And uh, so, yeah. Without further ado the Doom Waves top games of 2012 that I played this year. Um, I actually was going to do this in order of the way that I beat them. And I'm looking down at my cheat sheet here. It looks like I beat, well, I'm, this one's not on my sheet, but I know that uh, I have beat this game many, many times this year. I play this game a lot. Um, I beat it several times a year uh, because it's very quick. Um, it, you can beat it in about an hour. and uh, It's probably my favorite NES game, and that is Wizards and Warriors. So, of course, this is going to be on my list because I beat this game all the time. I sometimes um, just play through and see how many times I can beat it in one sitting. So, yeah, that's, that's that one, Wizards and Warriors for the NES. Uh, next up is probably the first game... Other than that, that I actually played and uh, beat this year. <coughs> and uh, this game had a profound impact on me. Got me into a series and uh, brought a newfound appreciation for me for JRPGs. And that is the first Dragon Warrior for the NES. This game, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed playing. A lot of people uh... don't care for this game as much because there's not a lot to it um, there's not much talking and there's some extra commands involved to do certain things like walk up up and down stairs and, and open doors and things like that that seem unnecessary but i really love the simplicity of this and with the simplicity came those extra commands that were simple commands but you know just a lot of steps simplicity doesn't always imply that there is few steps but uh, this is a really great game uh, it's a really good JRPG one of the very first uh, between this one and Final Fantasy 1 they really did you know you know create a uh, really great uh, genre I guess and uh, it's quite quite a departure from the Western RPG and the, the dungeon crawlers and the point-and-click games of of the time and I think it just really just speaks volumes for where we're at now with our with RPGs. Uh, next up a very simple game a run and gun one of the very very most popular games on the NES of course it's Contra and I also did a video for this one I did a video for Dragon Warrior 1. Um, this game I didn't think that I would it would stick with me after I beat it, but it really kind of did. After I beat it and recorded the video, you know, a few days later, I was like, man, I really want to try that again. So I have several times uh, played this game. I haven't beat it again yet, uh, but I haven't sat down and tried that hard either. Uh, but I uh, I really didn't think that I would uh, be that into playing this again, but I really did have a lot of fun with this. Um, you know, if not for the Konami code, you know, no one would ever have fun with this. Um, that's not true, but uh, it's it's a very tough, it's a challenging game, and it is very fun. So check it out if you haven't already. It's Contra for the NES. All right, next we have the very first Halo game, Halo Combat Evolved 
for the original Xbox. For me, I played this game in not when it first came out. I probably picked this up when I got my Xbox. I think Halo 2 was pretty new. Uh, but I went ahead and picked up this one first, and uh, this is not my original copy. Um, I played up to and through, I want to say it was the library in this game, if you're familiar at all with it, the, the level names and things. I'm pretty sure I made it to the library, and uh, I, I got lost or something, I don't know. But then I moved out of my parents' house, and... Uh, in with some friends and uh, they just wanted to play multiplayer all the time so but I was alright with that because up to that point I never played multiplayer on anything um, really I, I never really played a lot of video games with friends and sure as heck not games like that so that was really one of the first experiences I had with uh, multiplayer and uh, it was really fun we had two Xboxes in the house and just linked them up with a cable you know and we have like eight players you know on two TV, four players on two TVs. It was it was great fun. And uh, because of that time period, from then on, for a long time, I just played multiplayer on these type of games. It happened on Halo 2. Same deal. I got Halo 2. We just played multiplayer. And then when Halo 3 came out and when I bought my Xbox 360, same deal. I just played multiplayer and I never touched the campaign. The first Halo game that I actually touched the... the uh, campaign on again after putting Halo 1 down was Halo Reach and I, I thought that I would try and since it was technically a prequel that I would start playing that one and then play through it and then going back and play Halo 1 but then I got stuck because I was playing on too hard of a difficulty for my skill level apparently because I'm stuck and I can't get through where I'm at so I put that one down and picked up this one right around the time that Halo 4 came out because I really want to play the, the campaign on Halo 4, but I still want to try and maintain some, you know, chronological order and play through them all uh, like they're supposed to be played. So I played through and beat Halo 1 and Halo 2. I haven't started it yet, but I am definitely looking forward to it. Next, after that, I played a game, another game that I... I play a lot, and I have beaten so many times, it's not even funny, but uh, this was the first time that I had played and beaten this version, and I just got this this year sometime. It's Doom for the Atari Jaguar. I really love Doom. Doom is actually my favorite game of all time, and uh, I'm trying to collect all the different versions of it, and uh, this was one of the first... Uh, variation versions that I got, you know, from the the very you know simplistic, the PC and and, and uh, the Xbox. This version is uh, kind of it's pretty bare bones. It's not near as good as the computer version. Um, there's no sound, of course, no no music. I shouldn't say there's no sound because there is the regular uh, gun sounds and monster sounds and things like that. Um, the level layouts are a little bit different. <clears throat> they took out a lot of things to save space, and uh, they did add a couple of levels in there, but they also took out a lot of the, the enemies, and uh, all of the bosses were taken out. and that, So that was kind of a bummer. Um, there was a lot of things good, and a lot of things kind of meh about it. All in all, I would say that it is a really great port of Doom, and worth it to check out for anybody who likes Doom and or has a Jaguar. If you have a Jaguar, I know that uh, games are expensive and there is not a uh, large margin of uh, good games for the system. A lot of uh, garbage on that system, unfortunately. I love the, love the Jaguar, but uh, there's just not that many great games for it. Um, there's, there's a handful, and unfortunately it's kind of an expensive system to collect for. Um, most of the games are going to be in the... Now, there's a few in the twenty to thirty dollar range. Most of them are going to be in the fifty to sixty dollar range, but there is quite a few that you could still find boxed for pretty reasonably priced. Um, there, the, there really aren't outrageous uh, prices for box games. So if you're into complete collecting, uh, the Jaguar, it, there is some availability there. Um, I think they uh, Atari kind of overshot what they really thought that they were going to sell. 
uh, with the Jaguar. Um, there, there just weren't that many systems sold, and uh, they made a ton of games. And uh, obviously, since the systems didn't sell, the games didn't sell either. So it is a cool system to collect for. I personally don't have a collection. I actually only own Doom. Uh, but there are a handful of other games that I really would like. I would like the, the port of Wolfenstein 3D and also uh, Raiden. I would really like to get that port and uh, Defender 2000 as well. Okay, moving on from Doom from the Jaguar. Next, I played through and beat much to the disdain of some people I know. Front <laughs> Mission Evolved for the Xbox 360. I did a review of this pretty recently. This was just uh, not even a month ago that I played through and beat this game. Um, I really had a great, a really great time with this uh, third-person mech shooter. Uh, check out my review um, on my page. You know, for a, a pretty much a complete rundown of this game from me. Um, I talk about the things that I like and things I don't like about it. And uh, yeah, I, I thought I thought it was a great game. I think it came out in like 2010. Um, I'm not I'm not positive this has a ton of replayability. Maybe if the uh, online multiplayer was still available, or if people were still playing the online online multiplayer, this would have some more replayability for me. Um, I might try to go through it on, on a harder difficulty on, but uh, yeah, I had a good time with it. So yeah. Front Mission Evolved. Um, next up here, I, I guess I should just mention this one real quick. Um, uh, Dragon Warrior for the Game Boy, I, I also played through and beat the first one on here and did a, uh, com a review and kind of a comparison video um, about the uh, comparing the NES version and the Game Boy version. Um, Lastly, here uh, is the last game that I probably will beat this year. I probably won't beat another one uh, before the end of the year, which is coming up in about 10 days. It's not looking like I'm going to beat anything else uh, before then. And uh, primarily it's because I'm still playing this one. Um, this game, for some reason, I am just hooked on this game. I played through and beat the campaign, or the story mode, and I I didn't think that I would get that hooked, you know, on the on the survival mode of this game, but I did. It's Splatterhouse for the Xbox 360. I've been playing the survival mode, and I'm I'm probably going to start another campaign or story mode uh, tonight on the medium difficulty now on well the second highest difficulty. I I don't know what it is. Th this for me. I know this game wasn't released in 2012, but this right here, Splatterhouse for the Xbox 360, is my game of the year. That uh, probably makes some people cringe. Uh, I don't know what it is. The mask must speak to me or something. It, it haunts me in my dreams or something. Because, seriously, I can't stop playing this game. Um, I did a, I talked about it in a pickups video or a games I've been playing video. The last one of those I did, uh, I talked about it in my review of the game after I beat it just a couple of days later. I did a brief uh, video on the survival mode, uh, showing me playing a little bit. And I tell you what, I am still stuck on this game. I, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm itching to throw it in right now. I probably. As soon as I get done with this video, I might actually go throw this in and play it. Splatterhouse for the Xbox 360. I don't know what the hell to tell, what what else to say about it. I mean, I I, I said everything, but uh, it's very fun. If you don't agree with me, I'm sorry, uh, but that's it. That's that's my favorite game that I picked up this year that I've been playing. Um, of all the games I picked up this year, I don't think I've had as much fun as I've been having on that one. And I picked up a lot of games this year. Um, but, uh, yeah. I don't know. Kind of an honorable mention here. It's uh, it's another game. I have not beat the story mode here on this one. And a lot of people are going to say, ah, when I pulled this up. Um, but it's Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Um, I played... I, I, when I first got this, I played a lot of the multiplayer and... Uh, I have not played the campaign on this, but for some reason, uh, 
I really love the zombies game on on the Call of Duty games, and, and I'm not sure you know that that uh, I'm gonna get a lot of like respect for that, but uh, I don't know. It's kind of an honorable mention. I do play uh, the zombies quite a bit. All right, folks, that's it. That's that's my uh, games that I've beaten this year. 2012 has kind of been really the uh, kickoff year to my uh, my gaming. Um, I've had an Xbox 360 and an NES and an Atari for Atari 2600 for a long time, um, and I've you know picked up games here and there for the Xbox, you know, but hadn't really done any retro gaming other than the games that I had already had. But uh, this year, I don't know what the deal was. I just <coughs> something just clicked, and I decided that uh, I wanted to start collecting these games that I never did get to play um, when I was a kid because I didn't have the systems. And it all kind of started this summer. Uh, picked up uh, a Dreamcast at a garage sale with a big stack of games for like twenty-five bucks. Um, I bought. Well, last Christmas time, I bought a GameCube and a Game Boy Player and a few games for it. And I don't know, I just kind of went crazy after that. Picked up a Genesis and a Super Nintendo and an N64 and Master System. Oh, I, ha I already had a PS2 also, I guess I should say that. Uh, picked up the Jaguar. Uh, I've got a ton of systems now, and it's it's crazy because... I, I really don't have too many games for any one system. Uh, the NES is is uh, my top system, and I think I counted something like 43 games um, that I have for the NES, and uh, it's still my favorite system. Um, I don't know. It's 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 a combination of nostalgia and uh, games that uh, have a, a ton of replayability for me. Um, games that I don't get tired of playing, you know, I, I could just, you just play them, like, for instance, Wizards and Warriors, I could just put that game in and play it, you know, I could just play through it uh, multiple times in one sitting, you know, because it doesn't take me but, you know, a little, maybe close to an hour, maybe a little more, I, I, I can't remember, it's been a while since I timed it, I, I, can, I can just play it and then start right over as soon as I, I beat the last wizard, just, just start over. And just play it again. Um, I don't know why that is, but it has a ton of replayability. Same with uh, like the Legend of Zelda, the very first. I could just throw that game in and, and just play it for you know start a new file and and just play through the first few levels in you know in, in one sitting and then put it down and you know not you know you know it's it's just as that game for me is just as easy to throw in and play as uh, Super Mario Brothers, you know, which obviously has tons of replayability. I could play Super Mario Brothers and, uh, you know, just other games like that, you know, platformers. And, and for me, you know, games like Dragon Warrior and uh, Final Fantasy, you know, they have tons of replayability also. Um, the action-adventure games, it's just, it's just a really great system for me. It's, but like I said, it's a combination of nostalgia and just really great games. Um... Next high system, I'd say probably the Xbox 360, Xbox, Xbox 360, kind of a combo there. Um, especially because a lot of Xbox games play on the 360. Um, as you can see, with uh, some, obviously, some of the games, you know, down here on the table now. Um, it's my next highest collection. I, I don't know how many there is, but I, I, it's just a really great system. I, I love the controller. I love everything about it. And uh, for, for now, it's the most current system that Microsoft makes. So there are new games coming out for the system. But there's such a good back library of games for the Xbox, the original Xbox, and the Xbox 360. I mean, we're talking, this system has been out for, you know, and you know, games still coming out for the 360 and it came out, you know, like six years ago, you know, five or six years ago, something like that. And taking it back all the way, you know, from the beginning of the Xbox, we're looking at, you know, 10 years, around 10 years of games for a system, and they're still coming out. So, 
it's just a really great system. And, you know, and there's a lot of people that say the same thing about Sony, though. Um, and the PS3, you know, it's, I think, I'm, I'm not, I'm so unversed on the PS3, but from what I understand, at least the original PS3 was backwards compatible all the way to PlayStation 1, which is awesome. You know, I've got some PlayStation 1 games, some PlayStation 2 games, but I never did get a PS3, so I, you know, I, I can't experience it. Um, I do want to get a PS3, uh, but for now, I think that I'll stick with the 360. I do want to get a PlayStation 3 eventually to get the exclusives, but uh, once I do get a PS3, I think, I think I still will um, only buy the exclusives for the system, and I probably will get everything else for the 360. Um, yeah, I, systems are probably going to start getting cheaper because eventually, with the next couple of years, um, the newest PlayStation and the newest Xbox, whatever, will probably come out, and uh, the other stuff will kind of get phased out. That that tends to be when I when I get into a system. Um, that's I got a Wii this year, um, <laughs> but the Wii's been out for a really long time. I actually still haven't picked up anything else for the Wii except for you know what what came with it when I bought it. But uh, yeah, just, it's just been a really great year for me in uh, gaming, and uh, yeah, I mean, that's, what else can I say? I've, I've had a really great time collecting this year, and look forward to the new year, and uh, collecting a lot more stuff, and playing a lot more games. So, stay tuned right here to my channel. Uh, I want to thank my subscribers, and my viewers, uh, as few as you are. Um, I do appreciate your comments and I appreciate your subscription and your likes and all that stuff. So thanks for watching. As always, Doom Waves out.